in this video we're going to work with a specific a type of chart which is called the time series and you can see here look at this 1 December 2 December 3 December and then we jump here immediately to 6 December where we remove the weekend and this is very important removing the weekend is a essential item for a chart in the financial world so let's start to look how we can remove the weekend dates from our chart in this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to hide weekend dates on the X scale in Chart.js. And this question came from one of my other videos about how to use the day ticks and hour ticks in the X axis in Chart.js. And if you scroll down here, you can see this question came from Liqui Invest SRO. So a special thank you to Liqui Invest. And this is what Liqui Invest asks. Hi, nice Chart.js series. It will be nice to see a video about uh, how to hide weekend data for financial charts and what is the best way to implement a dark mode. All right, what I'm going to focus on is basically this question here, where we're going to focus on the weekend data. This here is suitable for another video. In the near future, I will make that one. Anyway, so how do we do this? Well, first of all, what we need is we need to go to charges3.com getting started. And we're going to grab here the default code. And you might notice this here, for some reason my Google Chrome gives a error while Firefox works fine. But anyway, I'm going to copy this here. And once we copy this item here, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. And then what I want to do here is I want to paste this in here. And once I paste it in here, I'm going to cut out the title here, put the title in here, and then save that refresh and there we are so now we have a bar chart i want to convert this into a line chart so to do this we're going to scroll down here and we say here line chart and then what i want to do for of course here i want to change the line into a tension of 0 0.4 making it an elastic line next i want to remove all the border colors I only have one single border color there we are and here for the background color which is a 0 0.2 but the same color structure except here 0 0.2 so we save that save this refresh there we are so now we have this and what we want to do eventually is we want to convert it into a, the x scale needs to be converted into a time structure so to do this we go here to chartjs.org we're going to click on ecosystem and in the ecosystem if we scroll down here you will see eventually here the adapters and what i want to do here is i want to grab an adapter that will support the time uh, settings for X scale. So we're going to select here. There's three options here. I'm going to recommend you use one or the others, but if you're only going to use just the adapter, so you want to only add one single JavaScript link, then use date FNS. If you want to use some features, I would recommend Loxon because Loxon is quite easy to use, but you require two JavaScript files to be included to, to activate it. At moments, I would not recommend you because it's being deprecated and it's not being updated anymore. So go for these two. For me, I'm going for date FNS just for one reason. I only want to add this specific adapter that's just a single JavaScript file instead of two. So that saves us loading time. So I'm going to grab this one here. And then you can put it in here and just make sure you can see here, chart.js adapter date FNS. And that's the one we want with the bundle settings. So if I save this now, Refresh, nothing happens yet. And the reason why we need to put in here in the X scale, the time settings. So I'm going to say here, and I'm going to say here, uh, type, put it scale, and then we say your time. I'm going to use time here. Later, I'm going to change that. I'm going to show you why. If I save this right now, nothing happens here, or at least at the bottom, it's adjust. The X scale adjusts, but the date is not being recognized. And the reason why the date is in here and the date is not being recognized because this is not a date, or at least not for JavaScript. So I'm going to put in here enter and not an enter and just going to remove all of this. And what I want to do now is I'm going to say here new date. In this new date, it will be 2021 12 December 1. And then what I will do here is I'm going to put a comma here. I'm going to duplicate this multiple times until we have a week of seven. So we have here and then we say one, that's two, three, four, five six seven just a quick note here number four is saturday and number five is sunday so if you want to remove these weekends here we need to check then how we can do this because if we save this right now refresh you can see here 
is being recognized immediately. So what we could do is well, we could just say, well, let's delete this. If I delete this, save that, refresh, look what happens. The data points are still being recognized and this date difference here is being recognized as well. And that will make basically this line here and we'll calculate what it suspects to be. So we need to solve that. Next, what I want to do here in the data, because we only have five data, I'm going to just remove the two other data. So we will not create any confusion later on. You will see it or, well, let me leave it in here. I'll show you later on why. So if I refresh here, everything looks fine here. So how do we solve this? Well, what we can do here is instead of type time, we need to use a time series. This is really designed for a financial chart. So if I refresh here now, what is happening now is basically we have one, two, three, four, five points, and then you have this line here. So this is the reason why I want to show you the line because it shows here other values, but it gets a bit confused where to place them. So if I remove this, save that, refresh, now it's being cleaned up. All right, so we have that one. But look at the bottom here. It recognizes basically that this is two days. Basically, the, the distance here is two days, but this is the weekend. So what we want to do is we want to remove that part. So how do we do this? Well, if we scroll down here, you can say here, and then we're going to control this with a comma. Then we say here ticks. In the ticks here, we're going to say the source. And, oh, sorry, I realized that this should not be in here. And the reason why it should be here above. Say so here, comma, and then source. And then we're going to say here labels. Indicating that we only want to show the labels here. If I refresh here now, what is happening now? Look at this. We have your 1 December. We have your 2 December, 3 December, and then it jumps here immediately to 6 December. And then here we have 7 December. So now it creates and removes the item. So if you want to say, oh, hold on, why is this always at 8 a.m.? Maybe you want to have 12 midnight, or maybe if you are in the stock market, you want, you want to say 9 a.m. So let me just go to default. The reason why here right now, it's looking at my local time here. My, my local time is, is uh, GMT plus eight. So that will mean that it will be added eight hours. So if I want to just set this on time on zero, I'll just come to put in T0000, and there we are. So I can copy that, put it in there, put that one in there, put that in there, and that one in there. Save that, refresh. Now we are always at 12 a.m. Always on the day. And this is basically the way how you can remove the dates in here. So the time series compared to time basically has one difference. Time series is focused on e uh, or sorry, equidistance. Equidistance, if you take those two words, it stands for equal and distance. So there's an equal distance for every tick. And that's basically what happened here now. It just calculates a distance here equally, no matter if it's two days, one days, or none at all. And what we really did here, let me scroll down here because I went maybe a bit too fast in this. On the ticks, I, I set the following because the default is always set in auto, which means here we'll get the automated calculation and we'll get this here. And I don't want this because here you can see here the ticks here, equidistance, equal distance of two is still just the same distance compared to one day. And this is two days. But of course, you can see here all these lines. And I don't want these lines They're distracting and for the weekend, they have no meaning at all. So we're going to say here, this will be set on labels. And because of that, we will grab here the labels here as our data point. If I save this now, refresh, there you are. It jumps here, goes here. And normally, of course, if you have a stock, what that would mean is that you should start here, maybe somewhere in opening at the exactly same time or estimated same time. So this would be, if this would be number six, here should be number six as well. That would make the most sense or six plus depending on the opening of the stock that might sometimes change by the way but this is the most logical one here so if you like this video and maybe you want to go maybe deep on other topics about uh, filtering dates or playing around with dates i would highly recommend you check out this specific video here is on how to filter dates between uh, beginning and ending here and then show that on the chart which is very suitable for a financial chart as well.